Hi everybody. Oh, it's windy today. How are you? Hi Rob. I'm alone. As Teddy said, he's going to meet me here. Have you seen him? No? I think I'll just wait a little bit. Don't fall. <laughs> I'll wait. So today the story is going to be about... Oops, we don't have a book. Teddy. He's not usually late. Where is he? Come on, Ted. Where are you? Oh, let's have a look. Maybe he fell asleep somewhere. Let's see. <gasps> there he is. Hi, Ted. How are you? I'm going to read the story. Shall I wake him or not? Shall I wake him? Okay. Ted. 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 Oh, oh my goodness. He's so heavy. Uh, he must have had a really big breakfast. Uh, uh, Teddy. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, okay, Ted. It's okay. Enjoy your sleep. Okay, I found a great seat for you. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is hard work. Oh, the tree. Ted, where did you get me? My goodness. Teddy likes it here because it's kind of mysterious. Okay, so what story shall we read today? These stories are by Ladybird, as I said before. Hmm, which one? Which one? Oh yes, Teddy likes, obviously we know why, the story of Goldilocks and Three Bears. So are you sure it's here? Here it is. Okay, Teddy approves. Okay, so Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I used to love this story when I was young, a long time ago. <laughs> Okay, so my eyes on because you know I do have a bit of problem there. Once upon a time. Okay, Teddy wants to be closer. Come, Ted, come. Oh no, but you can't fall asleep all the time. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a little house right in the middle of the forest. There was a great big father bear, like you, a medium sized mother bear. And a tiny baby bear. Oh. One morning, Mother Bear made a big pot of porridge and put them into three bowls. Doesn't like porridge, she prefers granola. <laughs> but the porridge was much too hot to eat. <laughs> we will leave it cool while we go for our early morning walk, said the Father Bear. When we come back, it will be just right. So off they went into the forest. Da da da, da da da. Nearby, there lived a lively and very naughty, mischievous little girl. She was called Goldilocks. Why was she called Goldilocks, you think? I think her hair was nice and gold, what do you think? Her hair's gold? No, it's brown. Because she had long golden hair. That morning, as she was passing the, the, the three bears' house, Goldilocks saw that the front door was open. I'll just have a little peep inside, she said to herself. As soon as she saw the porridge, naughty Goldilocks rushed over to taste it. I do feel rather hungry, she said. But the porridge in Father Bear's big bowl was still too hot. And the porridge in Mother Bear's medium-sized bowl was lumpy. We don't like lumpy, eh? No. At last, Goldilocks tried Baby Bear's porridge. It was just right, so she ate it all. <gasps> oh my god, that's terrible. After that, Goldilocks decided that she should take a, she would like to sit down. Teddy wants to lie down again. Teddy wants to lie down Rob again. Ted, no, you can't. Now we can't take a break. Back to work. But Father Bear's big chair was much too high. Next, she said she sat into Mother Bear's medium-sized chair. This one is much too hard, she grumbled. At last, she found Baby Bear's tiny chair. It wasn't too high. It wasn't too hard. It was just right. <gasps> oh my god, oh no, oh no. Goldilocks leaned back happily in the baby's chair. But she was too heavy with a creak and a crack and a creak and a crack. The chair fell to pieces. <gasps> oh no, what's going to happen now? Well, really, she said crossly, I've had such a shock. I think I need to lie down. She's like you, Ted, she wants to lie down. Okay, okay. Robbie has to rest a bit because she's tired. Okay. Rest, honey, rest. <laughs> so Goldilocks went upstairs. She tried Father Bear's big bed, but it was far too hard. 
and mother bear's medium soft bed was far too soft. <laughs> now, this is comfortable, said Goldilocks, sitting in the baby bear's little bed, and she fell fast asleep. <sighs> Oops, so, so, I'm sorry, Rob. Sorry, sorry about that. <sighs> then, everyone got back to work. I have to read the story for the children. Before long, the three bears arrived home from their walk. I'm ready for my breakfast right now, said Father Bear. But when he got to the table, he cried out in surprise, Somebody's been eating my porridge. And somebody's been eating my porridge, said Mother Bear. I wonder why they didn't like it. We know, it was lumpy. That might they must have liked mine, cried Baby Bear, holding his empty bowl. Someone's been eating my porridge and they've eaten it all up. Look, said Father Bear, someone's been sitting in my chair. And someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mother Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Baby Bear, and he broke it. Oh, poor Baby Bear. The three bears began to search the house. Upstairs, Father Bear looked around. Someone's been sleeping on my bed, he said. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, cried Mother Bear, because the beds are in a bit of a mess. Oh no, screamed Baby Bear. Someone's sleeping in my bed and she's still there. At the sound of Baby Bear's voice, what, what? <gasps> Teddy likes Baby Bear's bed. We'll go, we'll go and find one in the woods. Goldilocks woke up. The first thing she saw was Father Bear looking very cross. Goldilocks jumped up in fright. She ran down the stairs and out of the house as fast as she could. I don't think she'll trouble us again, said Father Bear, smiling. And she never did. Oh, that was a nice story. Yeah. Now we have to leave you because Teddy has to continue his little nap. Because all that talk about beds and, and you know, and food and, and cereal and porridge, you know. So from this beautiful place, garden, with all the little, the little birds chirping and it's very, very windy. Thank you once again for listening to our story which was by Lady Bird, like the story before. And special thanks to Robert, Camilleri and Naomi Gradil. Bye.